man right there. There he is. Hey, how's it going, George? Awesome, man. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing really good. Yeah, well, you look good. And, uh, yeah. you know, I'm excited to just kind of like check in with you, see how things are going, and have you give us some inspiration of, of what you've learned over the last several weeks since the end of the greatest year of your life. But before we jump into any of that, um, I just kind of want to ask you, uh, what was going on in your world before the greatest year of your life? You know, it was a lot of um, stops and starts, I think is is the best way to say it. It was very much like, you know, I would get excited about something and then I would start it, but then, you know, the, the doubts would creep in and, you know, uh, the old patterns of I have to take care of everybody else. I have to make sure everybody else is happy before me, um, which is funny because you texted that out this morning and I was like, oh my God, that's brilliant. Like, because I, I tell, I'm moving my phone, sorry. Um, because I totally relate to that, that whole um, thing where I just felt like, you know, I've got to take care of everyone else and my needs don't matter. Everybody else comes first. And, and sort of that's where I always was. And so, yeah, before this event, um, uh, you know, that's, that's where I've been stuck there a long time. Um, many, many, many years. Um, so yeah, before the event, yeah, that's, that's where it was at just, you know. Awesome. And yeah. you know, what's so cool was that, you you rose your hand, you know, and um, you started talking about some of the things that you're going through. That's the greatest year of your life. And um, I think the minute you stepped on stage, everybody just kind of fell in love with you because you were just so <laughs> open and willing, which was really powerful. Um, so um, when you went to the event, you had all these other challenges going on and, and then you had, you had your sort of stage time and we did our process together. Sure. Um, what do you remember about that? I know there's a lot happening in, in, a, in a short period of time. What do you remember about that? You know, I, I, I didn't go up there to talk about that at all. Um, my family, my past is, is pretty closed or has been for a long, long time. I don't, I don't share much of that. I never did. When Katie and I first got together, we never talked about it. Um, it took a long time for me to come around to even tell her anything. So I, I didn't go up there with sort of that intent, but I just focused on you. And it's kind of weird, like you asked what my experience of it is. To me, it was, it was very surreal because there was nobody else in the room. I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? I mean, I know they were, but it was just, it was just us. And, and I just decided at that moment to sort of let go and just, if, if you were going to lead, I was going to follow. And where that took me was where it was going to take me and just kind of not be afraid about it. Um, I was, I don't know. It was just a floodgate of, of things. You know, I, I, I know Katie's, you know, been through this with me for a long time, but it, it was just a different experience. And, you know, you, you brought up, seeing her and what would she say to me and and it was it was a profound i just earth shattering difference i you know i wish everybody could have gone up there and and kind of done that because it, it was absolutely shattering to you know all this pain and all these walls i had built up over all these years to to finally understand none of that had, it didn't matter it you know what i mean like it was it was it was just falsehoods you know i i don't know if that makes sense um but that was sort of my experience was just this it's i can put it down now it's okay you know and, and uh i'm getting a little emotional now it's just um i i, I haven't felt this free in 30 years you know it's quite an experience so amazing man amazing i mean it shows the power of of vulnerability and if you're willing to to be open and explore those places um can really create some powerful shifts so um so the process happens you know and you had these kind of earth shattering moments here and and so mm -hmm. uh i'm curious what is it that after the process happened after since the event um in the last three weeks 
tell me about kind of your uh, your experience since then. Sure. Um, you know, I think I just, I, you know, it was always like a wet blanket around me. I don't, I don't know if that makes sense, but it was, it, it was a daily wet blanket. Um, I, I, I really what wish you could that, hear. What does that mean? It's just like, okay, I'm awake. Let me put on my sadness. Let me put on my you know, pain. I'm going to wear it like a blanket. You know what I mean? Like it was, it, it colored everything. Um, and, and I think now I, j I wake up, I'm excited to get up. Um, you know, I'm excited to face the day. Um, whereas I think for, for quite most of my life, it really didn't always feel that way. Um, you know, it was just, you know, you go through the motions, but you're not really there. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but I'm excited. The creativity's back. The, the real fire is back. Um, Katie and I have never really been better as far as, as you know, as I see it, it's just things are going really well. Um, I'm working on some new stuff that I'm so excited that I can't talk about, but, but it's super exciting. Like, um, so yeah, I mean, it's just wonderful. Um, it's different. And I, I realized too, um, you know, self-talk is such a thing. And, and, you know, you say things to yourself sometimes that you would never say, to anyone and I, I realized after the event like my self-talk is was brutal all these years you know I would never I'd go to jail if I said some of the things to somebody else that I used to say to myself and and so that's been a real consistent I, I recognize it more now um, I work on it more now I think about it more now um, I've been posting a lot about it because it's relevant to, to me um, so yeah, it's just awareness, a lot more awareness of, of kind of who I am and that it's okay. And that, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy and, and I, I don't, I don't feel the ghost anymore at all. Um, so that, that's all been really, really positive for me. Um, Amazing. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, yeah. That, that was going to be my next question to you is, is, you know, before the event, there's a lot of stops and starts, as you mentioned, that you come to the event, you have this big shift, uh, mm -hmm. this big transformation, this big breakthrough. And then after now, like the creativity is flowing, yeah. um, you, you and Katie have never been better. And so all mm -hmm. of these things are really opening up for you in your world. And, and, you know, that's because of you and your willingness to be open. Um, my next question for you was, and you already started to answer is what is your, what is going to be kind of your plan or your practice to, to make sure that you stay in this space because you could revert back if you wanted to, but it doesn't seem like you want to. No, I, no, not at all. Um, so I, I really, I took a lot of what you talked about to heart. And um, so I've got my vision statement that we wrote out and, and I read that all the time, you know, um, I try, I've become very aware of where my thoughts are going. And and it is a war. It's like slaying the dragon. We talked about that. Um, but it, I I think if you're aware of it, you at least have a leg up. You're, you're at least in the fight if you're aware of where your thoughts are. Um, and so, I yeah, I be, go ahead. I just want to stop right here for a moment because it's such an important thing that a lot of people just dismiss is becoming aware of your thoughts. Yeah, uh, because as you become aware of them, what's what's possible from there? Right. And, and I think that's it. It's like, it's not that the old pattern isn't still around. It's more that right now when it triggers, I go, oh, I recognize this. Um, no, screw off. This is not I'm not going back there. I'm not I'm not letting you win. You know, let no, let's let's twist this. Let's turn turn this to a positive and. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm 100% successful all the time, but at least I'm aware of it. And, and it, you know, being aware of it is, is huge, you know. I think, like, last night is a great example. Um, I, I had this idea in my head that I was going to be really, really productive yesterday. And I was productive, don't get me wrong. Like, it was a good productive day, but it wasn't. You know, I had this pie in the sky, like gold star standard of what I thought the day was going to be like. Didn't end up that way. And and so last night I was like, ah, oh, ah, you know, and I went back to that sort of, 
oh, Matt, you could have done more. You could have done this. You could have done that. And then and I was like, and Katie was like, Matt, what are you doing? Because she recognizes it too. And I was like, you know what? You're right. It's okay. It's okay. And at least if you see it, you know what I mean? Like you've, you're, you've won over half the battle if you can just recognize what you're doing. You know, like, and that's been a huge shift for me, huge. Before it was never, I mean, it wasn't even anything that I would have thought about. Now I'm like, oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm being a dick to myself. <laughs> yeah, totally. You know, yeah. the reason why I wanted to do this quick interview with you is, is to, to help people who went to the event and now they're thinking, okay, what tools can I use to really keep my momentum going? Uh, because we see it all the time. We see people come to the event, they get really fired up, and then they go back out into the world fired up. Um, and then the, the energy of the world sort of influences back them back eventually to where they were. And you right. set yourself up to win. You know, I think you and Katie are, you and Katie are part of the Breakthrough Academy and you're coming Absolutely. to the NLP training. Yeah. And so, I mean, you've really set yourself up to win that way. And what would you share to people? What other tools or things might you be using? So you're reading your vision statement. You're being aware of your thoughts. Um, yeah. Anything else, other, other tools that you're using? Yeah, so your, your little goal sheet is, is really important. Um, because you, if you're writing down your goals every day, I mean, it's almost like it's in your face. You know what I mean? And the act of writing it is, is actually really intense. Um, because it, it's not just, oh, yeah, I should remember to do this. It's more, oh, no, I'm writing it down. It, it, it makes a difference in your head. So that's kind of, that's been big. Um, I, I like write your goals. Write your goals down, folks. Keep it yeah. in front of your face. Yeah, every day. And then, and then the action steps. Like, I, I love that there's only two blanks. Because, I, you know, to write your action steps because... I'm that jackass that will write 15 things and then get to the end and be like, oh, I only got three done. Whereas if it's only two, but you're still making progress, you know, and, and you can feel that progress and it makes you feel good when you get to the end of the day and go, yep, I did that, you know, yeah. and, and, and it's in alignment. So I, I'm, I'm kicking some ass. This is good. But it's not, you know what I mean? Because if it was 15 blanks, like I'd have 20 and, and then. So I think that's good, you know? <laughs> So if you, had, if you had 15 things to do in the day, it might set you up to lose. Yeah, well, yeah, because, I mean, life happens, and you know. And then at the end, you're like, oh, I only got 12 done. Like, that. It, that's the story of my life. Like, I so might. I like, you know, the limit. I like the limit. I think that's good for me. So, um, so what, for those of you who are watching this, what he's referring to is our Breakthrough Academy three-part accountability and action guide, or the sheet that we use. Um, and really, it's all about writing your goals down consistently and making sure that you're doing at least one thing a day that moves you towards one of those goals. It's a very simple process. There's a little bit more to it. Um, but, you know, Matt, yeah. now, that, now that you've kind of been through an NLP process um, and felt the experience of it, now you get to attend a two-day training that, uh, where you're going to learn more tools. Absolutely. Um, what, are you, what are you most looking forward to maybe to getting out of that training to keep you moving forward? Uh, you know, I that experience was so just earth shattering in the best way possible. I mean, that sounds like a negative. It's not. It was, it, it was just shattering in in the best way ever. And and so I think a couple of things. I think for one, if if I could ever help anybody the way you helped me, that would be a bigger gift than 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 I can even imagine. Like, thank you so much. You have no idea the depth of, of my love for you and what you did for me. It's just, and if I can learn that, I think that's amazing. But also, you know, the idea that, um, you know, you learn a technique that keeps you on track. You know, like you said, I think you can get mired down in, in shit. I mean, let's be honest, life can be shit sometimes, but, um, you know, there's that, that having the tools to, to not only recognize it, but say, you know what, I got something for that, Let, you know, and, and be able to take care of yourself. Um, I'm, I'm starting to figure that out. Self-care is, is everything. I mean, it's everything. You, you got to love yourself. That it has to start there. All great success starts from inside. It starts right here. And I, I would have never known that. Like, you know, I mean, you hear that, you, you know, people you you read stuff and you you hear that but it's so bloody true and yes. 
man, like, and I just can't imagine. It was so earth shatteringly wonderful for me that I just can't wait to learn more, you know, for me, but also, you know, like I said, I think if you can share that, it's just, all of you should go and all of, if you can, and, and, and yeah, it's just, I, I would have never thought that possible. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, I hear you, man. I appreciate you sharing and um, yeah. you're, you're an inspiration to us, you know, watching you go through that transformation and how, how light you've become in your interactions, yeah. your videos, you've become very inspired and it's inspiring for yeah. us to watch. Uh, um, so, the, you know, the, the cool thing was with the NLP training, um, we had a venue set up for about 20 people and then we, we sold out of it. And so because the demand was so high, we actually opened up more seats. So we got a bigger venue um, and we still have, <laughs> I think, eight seats left for, for anybody who wants to join us. So uh, if you are interested in attending the two-day training, March 24th, 25th, contact Sierra Frost just message her and let her know that you're interested. Um, but Matt, I really appreciate your time because um, I know that you've got a lot of stuff going on. You're going to be creating a lot of magic this year, both you and Katie. Um, is there yeah. any of the last words of wisdom that maybe you want to share with people who are watching this about like how to stay on track, how to keep momentum going? Yeah. I mean, I think get engaged. We have a Facebook group, get engaged message. Um, and if any of you are listening and want to message me, I am, I'm totally up for that to, to chit chat and talk anytime. Um, stay engaged with your content and follow the map. Like you laid it out how to do this and it works. I mean, I, I know we're only a few weeks out, but it really does work and it's really exciting. And, and so, you know, write your vision statement, read it to yourself, be kind to yourself, um, write your goals down and read those and, and be purposeful in what you're doing. You know, um, be kind, be kind to yourself. Like I'm, I'm, that's, that's the biggest takeaway. Like it, it matters, you know, it really does matter. And, uh, and I love you, man. Like you have no idea. Like it's just life is so good and I appreciate I it, too, brother. Man. Yeah. I love you too, bro. Yeah. Cool. Well, keep being the inspiration. Can't wait to rock the world with you this year. Yeah. Um, can't and wait. Again, thanks. Thanks for sharing your time, your energy and your yeah. heart with us. No worries, man. All right. So for, for those of you who are watching this, you know, take some insights from Matt, you know, who um, came into the event struggling, uh, went through the event, had some major breakthroughs, and now is really on fire as, as he continues into the year, as many of you are. And you have to remember that if, if you are willing to, like Matt said, write your goals down, keep your goals in front of you, read your vision mm -hmm. statement, and be aware of your thoughts consistently. And if you're willing to do that work, you will have the greatest year of your life. Um, but if you choose to go back into old patterns or not recognize what your thoughts are taking you, um, and you kind of go into where you were before the event, then not much is gonna change. Um, the cool thing is, is that you, you have choice on what you decide to do every morning uh, throughout the day and every evening, but you've gotta set up some routines that set you up to win. Um, and one of them that I'll share that, you know, that, you know, what Matt talked about inspired me to share is I have something called a, an alignment guide, 2018 alignment guide. I don't know if you guys can see that. And basically it's my vision, my mission, uh, my top three goals and my comfort zone destroyer. And then on the back are all of my pillars of alignment. And I read this every day because I'm rewi I'm wiring this into my brain as this is who I'm becoming. This is, and it's uncomfortable because I'm, I'm not 100% here yet. So for me to read it is a little uncomfortable, but that's a good thing. So I read it every day and I ingrain it deeper into my neurology. And over the course of time, like this is who I will become. And then next year, I'll just redesign this to who I want to become in the future. So. I call this my alignment guide, but you can simply put it together by writing down your vision, your mission, your top three goals, kind of your comfort zone destroyer, and on the back, all of your pillars of alignment. And I, I laminated it because it's important, and it sits on my desk uh, throughout the day so that I can read it multiple times if I want to. So I think, you know, the, a great teaching point from what Matt has offered us is like, keep, keep your goals in front of you, you know, as an important key. Um, and a lot of you are really kicking ass. Matt, I know you're... You, you can't really divulge all the information, but you're starting a new podcast. Is that, yes. is that what I saw you? Okay. Yeah. So 
and it's <laughs> it's gonna be super good. <laughs> I just can't share much about it yet. <laughs> I bet, I bet, I can't so, wait to watch it. So yeah. you guys got to keep keep an eye out for what Matt yeah. is creating in 2018. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, we'll be doing more of these kind of before and after interviews uh, with you. So we might reach out to you and say, hey, you want to do a quick interview and inspire our greatest year of your life, folks. Um, but Matt, keep being an inspiration, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Bye-bye. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.